Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this series of lessons, I'm going to go through some of my experiences with using Microsoft OneNote 2016, both for my own job as well as for my personal records. So OneNote 2016, the benefit of using this Office 365 package is that you can now store all of your files on your OneDrive. So in order to do that, you need a OneDrive account and you need to be able to log into your OneDrive on your browser. So I'm going to show you that. So basically, if you just Google OneDrive and if you want to sign into your OneDrive using your Microsoft account, so you can see that this is my OneDrive, nothing exciting here. And if I uh, go to a folder where I want to create my OneNote, let's say I want to create my OneNote in a OneNote folder, you can create a folder if you like. So um, let's say you create a new folder and then you're going to go in there and you just click new and then you're going to create a OneNote notebook in this folder so I'm gonna do that create a new notebook and you're just gonna call the give the notebook a name so let's just call it uh, fitness OneNote a new fitness OneNote click create okay so there you go you've just created a new OneNote and you can see that by default it will open it in your browser uh, OneNote program. So right now we haven't even opened it on our local computer yet. So if you want to open it on your desktop version of OneNote, you can just click open in OneNote and it'll ask you whether you want to open it in OneNote 2016. So I'm going to open that and then it's going to say um, this location might be unsaved whatever just continue and now you can see that the new fitness OneNote is now open on your desktop OneNote so the desktop OneNote um, so if you scroll up and down you can see all a list of all your notebooks and you can see the fitness OneNote is over here so I'm going to drag that to the top so there's my fitness OneNote and by default it just has one section called untitled. So I'm going to change the name of that section. Um, I'm just going to call it for example dance and my first page is going to be called swing dance and then I'll type a little bit about swing dance. Swing dance is my favorite dance blah 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 blah. Now create new pages down on the right. I can create new sections, call them different stuff. So I could have basketball, tennis, and so on. So that is how the OneNote structure works for Office 365. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.